So I was thinking, what if Lake Madison's not where the crystal was, but right next door at the campsite? What if that has some crazy secrets we have not discovered yet? So we're going to head there today, check it out, and see what we can find. And guys, right now, down below in the comments, I want to know if you could go camping anywhere in the world, where would you go? And also, on top of that, have you ever been camping? I have, kind of, sort of. It was a campground. It was quite interesting. But before we go anywhere, I just want to say right now, I also have my key card. Can you guys leave a like right now in 3, 2, 1? Mainly because I got myself the key card this time. Yeah, I did not forget about it. And everyone left these open. We're going to we're going camping. Oh, that one was actually closed. So I'm gonna grab myself my soda and pizza, and we're gonna go travel to the campgrounds. Yeah, there's a lot of theories going around. It's saying use a shovel, uh, activate things like the electricity. I don't know why they would assume this would be activated, but we're not going to worry about that unless we definitely 100% have to. So we're over here right now. You know what? Maybe I should load in the house that has the shovel because I feel like I may need to use that shovel for over here because we know when we load in certain places, stuff happens. So, wait, hold on. Is it really camping if I load in my house over there? Honestly, I don't know. We're about to find out. We're gonna load this. What is happening back there? Where's that car going? Hey, dude! Do you know? Do they know where they're going? Do they know if something's over there? Maybe, maybe I should follow them. So that was a little weird. So I'm just gonna load a house in here, nonetheless. We're gonna load the one in that was in the video still, just in case. Whoa, 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 wait, hold up. What was? No, it was nothing. It was nothing. Don't worry. But the main reason we're here today is because of the shaping of the campground. I gotta say, they could have used so many other areas for this. They could have used over there. They could use back there. That truck is coming back. Why'd you go in a big circle, my man? Or my buddy? I, I don't know. No. Oh, no. They're coming over here. Okay, okay. Never mind. Just drive by in your creepy gray van. Yeah, yeah. See, see you later. Bye. But yeah, like I was saying, they could have put this in so many other areas. Like, yeah, we have a lake over here, but there's usually like a lake house there or a little beachfront property going on. We have the giant mountain over here, which wouldn't make sense for the campgrounds. But they could have put these campgrounds behind. There is a big space behind there. If you guys did not see it, there is literally a space behind this. Or they could have literally put the campgrounds... No, not right over there, but... They could have put the campgrounds literally anywhere else. Like, we have we have prime real estate over there. Next to a mountain, actually. They could have put a mini mountain over there. But they could have put the campgrounds right over there, like I was going to say. But as you realize, though, there are a couple dirt piles for no weird reason. No weird reason at all. It's They're meant to be there. Oh, no one loaded the house in. But if you guys noticed, all those holes are in weird places. As if someone's been searching for something. And then magically we get this campground out of nowhere. Huh. Hmm. That's a little bit sus if you don't ask me. So we're going to start digging. And by the way, guys, when the camping I did was at one of those giant campgrounds. So you know, you know how that is. It's one of those areas where you have something literally not even 10 feet away from you. You're like, you can almost touch the other campground area. But basically you put up a couple tents. And there's like a rec hall, so it, you literally don't have to worry about anything else. There's even showers. Yeah, what, the one I went to is somewhere deep in the mountains of Ma in Massachusetts. Yeah, we have mountains too. Where is the dumb shovel? It doesn't look like a shovel. That is 100% right. It doesn't look like a shovel at all. So, we're going to start digging around and see what happens. We don't know. Something might actually activate. We may dig something up in the ground. But yeah, the camping I did was still fun. One of my friend's parents owned the big place. We didn't really get a discount, I don't think. I don't remember because we went with uh, my friend's family. So I can't recall, but it was still a good time. We had a lot of fun. And by the way, oh, did you guys realize this? Oh my gosh, they have like the... Okay, inside all the houses that have a mystery in them, there's always one of these hexagons inside of it. And in out front of the uh, eagle view, there's hexagons. Hexagons are big in this, apparently. So there may actually be something in here. What? No way. Actually, 
There may be something underground for all we know. Okay, let's check by the trees. Not Wait, hold on. We can go inside the tree. Oh, that would have been awesome. No one would have thought to look in there. And we have a couple of trees right here, actually. These ones aren't directly next to each other, but they're pretty close. Almost as if they're hiding something. Hmm. We're going to check all the trees now. Oh, yes. Each tree, by the way, has a light under it. Oh, while I'm here, I think it might be a good idea to turn on the electricity. And by the way, yes, there were lights in the area. Like, there was actually a couple places you could have went to. I heard there was even a computer area, but I never went to it because I was on, like, literal camp. This is years ago, by the way, before, like, you like YouTube was the number one thing. Like, that wasn't my job back then. Okay, so... Here we go. Boom, boom, boom. We got that on. We got the switchy switch on. Now we're stuck in here forever. Okay, so since we're over here, I'll show you what I mean. You see, you see these dirt piles? There's a bunch of these around here. And I'm assuming the campground was a dirt pile, but they actually discovered something inside of it. So they had to keep an eye on it. So they turned into a campground. Yeah, probably a good way of doing it. To be honest, I really want a forest area, like a forest camp camping site type of deal. That would be amazing. And I do see what they did here, by the way. I'm not going to lie to you. I do see what they did here. So, the campsite is right next to the lake. When you go camping, you like going to the lake. But I honestly still feel like they could have put it on this side. And it would have been so much better because you're still in the middle of town for this campground. So, that's another reason why it's very sus. So we have all this electricity and nothing to do with it. You know what? We're going to start touching lights. You never know what we might find inside of a light, right, right, right? Uh, nothing, nothing. Maybe, um, Siren Head's light buddy will start coming out or something. Oh, that would be so freaky. That would be so terrifying just seeing the lights everywhere, the giant monster chasing us. Oh my gosh, that would be horrifying. Oh, Kidokali, nothing's in there. Yes, I am literally going that detailed. And by the way, the campground leading to the skate park it was very sus. Why? Why would that be a thing? I get the campground's supposed to be, like, fun for all, everyone. But there's not even any woods around here to go to. That's the next thing they need to add. Like, a whole wooded area. Like, I want that. But right now, we're just checking out to see what's under here. Ooh, anything? No, no, no. We got nothing. What about... Whoa. It's happening again, guys. It's happening again. Look at that. What? Whoa. Whoa. Hold up. Wait a second. Why? It's doing it again. Oh, no. That is... That is crazy. That is seriously... Get me into the... Yeah, get, come on. Come on. Let me in. Let me in. Thank you. Oh, and I was hoping someone's going to be in here. By the way, if you guys never noticed this... Oh, gosh. I am literally stuck behind... Whoa. Oh, wait. Hold up. I'm inside! I just realized I'm inside. Okay, we need to we need to really get myself out of here now. Oh, oh. Come on. I see you, bed. Do not do this to me. Really? I see it, but it doesn't want me to go into it. Let me into the bed. Okay, there. Oh, oh. You know what? We're not playing this game. No, no. I was stuck inside the mountain and I didn't even realize it. That's insane. That is super insane. But like I was going to say, we have weird, interesting things going on with the roads over here, too. We have two adjacent roads for no apparent reason. Technically, this could still be one road, but it feels like they're trying to tell us something's over here. And there's something over here near the campsite, by the way. This road goes down here, and then it ends over here very abruptly. And the light is actually off here. Oh, gosh, I know I can... Uh-oh, uh-oh, I didn't mean to do that. I did, I did not know I could do that. Now I now I know. So that is pretty cool. And I, to be honest, I didn't even know I was stuck in here. That is insane to think about. That is so crazy. Okay, so let's start turning these on since the lights are starting 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 to go out. And let's see, checking under all the desks. Hey, look at them. Look at them go. They're using the cool drones. Nothing's under there. And nothing's under here. So so this is RV parking. So this is obviously for the hookups of the RV. So what I'm going to do right now is we're going to load in said RV and see if that changes anything. We're going all in, guys. And guess what I can't find? I couldn't find the simplest thing in the world to find is RV. Okay, parking, parking, parking. 
And now we're gonna go like this. There we go. And I don't know. I can't remember. Does the RV have like a special thing I can do with it? I can never remember. Okay, we have the lights. Okay, cool. We have... Oh, that's the hazards. We don't want that. We have the color. We have all of this with the horns, which means nothing. And there we go. It's parked right here. And I'm assuming this is supposed to be for this. But I'm not sure. But now that we loaded this in, that's actually... I remember this is technically like the house they gave us for the update. There we go. We're inside. I, get, I gotta say, sometimes when I look at this, I get very sus of it because the way it's put together, it's actually put together like an apartment. We have stuff we can do in it, and I actually can't place anything. I can't place my bed inside of it. That's kind of crazy. Wait, and we can actually lay in the bed too. What? I never noticed that. Okay, that shows how much I don't look at everything in the game. So this is parked here, and as you realize, there's plenty of room for like a tent behind it, which is pretty cool. But they also never really place down where you could place your tent, because I wouldn't really want to place it on dirt. Oh, and on grass, I mean. But you get what I'm saying. Okay, so that's the campground sign, and there is nothing behind it. What if the campground sign is placed here, pointing to exactly where we need to go, which is oddly enough, a dirt pile over there. Or the dirt, or maybe it's saying, go to the center. Plane. Oh, gosh, really? There's a whole plane thing going on right now. Okay, so right here might be where we need to dig. So let's try. Dig. 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 I don't want to do every inch of this. Because I don't feel like I'll find anything if I do that. There has to be something here, though. Because the way they're building this up, the campground came in. And... Honestly, I've been under here, and there was also nothing. Maybe there was, like, mountain under here. I can't recall. But currently, we can't see under the world. Actually, could we? If we place this low enough into the ground. We did it before. And no, no, it's not. No, 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 no. But, yeah, I'm assuming there's nothing under here. Because if there was, I feel like I would have already found it. We activated a lot of stuff already. And it doesn't look like we got anything crazy, crazy out of this. Oh, wow. I literally parked super close to that. Maybe we're supposed to be close to that. Let's try to move this over a little bit more. I am literally trying everything. Because, honestly, guys, there has to be secrets around this place that we have not discovered. Bam. There we go. Is that what it's supposed to do? Is it, did, did I not put it in the right spot? I would connect you to you. But I can't. You won't let me. But, yeah, it doesn't look like we have anything magical here today, guys. Maybe there's a gravesite under here. I, I honestly don't know. But thank you guys for being here. Thank you all for watching. Remember to comment, like, and share this video around. We will eventually find something, but we know there's some dark secrets under here. Maybe a gravesite. Maybe, maybe gold. Maybe the crystal is literally here because this right here is a big, big circle for no reason. Actually, hold up. Is it? Wait. Why is it shaped like a diamond? I just noticed that. Wait, hold on. We have that to the point to that. And then it goes back to there. That is a diamond. That is 100% a diamond. Wait, is it pointing somewhere? It's pointing over here. Again. Wait. No, 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 no. No, it's not pointing over there, is it? It looks like it is, but I'm sure that's nothing. But as you see right now, it looks like it's a diamond. So maybe there is something golden hidden under here. Maybe this is telling us crystal location next to there. Maybe it's just the suits of, uh, maybe we're going to find a club. Like, you know, like from the suits of heart, like cards of heart, cards, cards, cards. But yes, guys, that's the end of the episode. Now that I figured that out, that is pretty cool. But thank you all for watching. Remember to comment, like, and share this video around and show it to all your friends. And until next time, guys, remember you can go to another video right now, the end card or the eye icon, or even go to the Brookhaven playlist. Go watch some of those videos and say camping in the comments in that video. So thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a like. And as always, subscribe because criminals don't die, they multiply. Until, we, until next time, guys, thank you for watching and bye!